This is the HP Pavilion 24-K0234 all-in-one desktop machine. So I'm going to go ahead and get started with the installation and we're going to go through it and I'm going to show you what it can do. So the first thing I did is I removed the standard Microsoft account. So I created a local account and got rid of all that other stuff. I also deleted all the bloatware that comes with it, including the McAfee antivirus and the Microsoft OneDrive and all that other crap. I wanted to show you just how fast this thing is from start to finish to kind of give you a better idea if it's going to work for you. As you can see, it's got a 10th gen Intel Core i5 processor, 12 threaded at 2.0 gigahertz. It's got a one terabyte drive. It's an NVMe M.2 drive, so it is lightning fast. That's a good thing. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how fast this thing is from an actual cold boot right to your desktop. It's gonna blow your mind. 11.7 seconds to go from cold to desktop. That is crazy fast. Is that it? No, there's more. So I'm gonna go through some of the specs on this machine for you. Don't get technical with me. And then we're going to show you some real world examples of just how fast it is. Best Buy actually has this currently on sale for $849.99. It's normally $1049.99. Basically, one is an Intel, which is this one, and the other one is an AMD Ryzen 7. Both have the same amount of memory and the same NVMe M.2 drive. The only difference is, is one is an Intel processor and one is an AMD processor, whichever one is your favorite. It comes with Windows 11 Home. It's got a 10-point touch enabled 23.8 diagonal FHD IPS bright view WLED backlit display. It does full 1080p. It does not do 4K. It's only up to 1080, so bear that in mind. Not good. It's got a 10th gen Intel Core i5 processor, again, 12 threads. 12 gigabytes of memory. It's got three separate sticks. According to HP's website, this machine will support up to 16 gigabytes of memory. It's already got 12, but I think for the vast majority of people, 12 is probably more than enough. It's got a one terabyte PCI Express NVMe M.2 solid state storage drive. Let's test the sound. <laughs> it's actually pretty loud. We are Jake and Nicole. We live off the grid in the Canadian rainforest. A lot of all-in-one machines, the speakers are not very loud, and that one's actually pretty impressive. I want to go on. I'd be impressed with that, so you really would not need to buy external speakers on that one. Wow, that's a relief! You've got USB Type-A, you've got a USB Type-C connection as well, HDMI connections out, one HDMI in, you've got the 802 wireless, which goes all the way up to AC, uh, built-in Bluetooth, one of the neat features about this, especially if you spend a lot of time in front of this, is it's got wireless charging right there on the front of it. So you can set your phone down and charge your phone right there while you're working. Oh, thank you, Lord! Now what we want to do is see what she can actually do in a real-world environment. It's about time. So I'm going to run through some of the things that most people do on an average day. So, for example, you can see how quickly the internet opens up. When you want to go to your files, documents, pictures, everything like that, it's just really, really fast. And of course, because you have the NVMe drive, it's all digital, so you don't have to worry about drive failures for the most part. That digital drive is going to last you a good long time. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to install my software on here, and then I will show you some real-world examples of how fast Office documents and other applications open. And then we'll get to the gaming. Okay, so I've got all the Windows updates done. I've got all my programs installed. First thing I wanna do is show you the speed at which some of these programs run. Firefox, for example. Google Chrome. Here's OpenOffice. And of course, again, you've got your library files, documents, downloads, pictures, all that. So it's a pretty darn fast machine. You keep using the horde. 
Next thing I want to do here is run a processor benchmark. If you are looking to compare this computer versus another particular i5 or i7, this will give you a good idea of where this machine falls in that speed and power performance bracket. I'm just going to run a basic first, and then we're going to run the extreme and compare the differences. Now, that wasn't too terribly bad. It was running about 26 frames a second. I'm going to switch to the extreme and run the test again. And let's compare lag time and screen refresh rates and things like that. This will give you a better idea of what kind of gaming you could actually do on this machine. Here we go. Now, you don't have to be an expert to understand that this machine was not designed for gaming. It is a little choppy and jittery and really isn't what you would want for advanced gaming i just can't do it captain i do it have the power what you saw before was basically the equivalent of a great game just with graphics turned down and maybe not as highly detailed this is the equivalent of max graphic settings in the game of your choice but as you can see that causes severe lag it is definitely not designed for high-end gaming Duh. however you could still play some pretty decent games if you aren't terribly concerned about high refresh rates all the rendering and all that stuff so you think there's still hope depending on what type of game you like this machine might actually be something that would benefit you so in summary, this is actually a great machine, a lot of power, but then again, it is not exactly a gaming machine. It can be depending on the types of games you play and the level of graphics that you require. This is really more for a student or a small business, uh, somebody who needs a pretty powerful machine without having to upgrade. The price point is a little steep, so I'd recommend checking out this video up here. I did a review on another HP all-in-one that's a little less expensive and to me just as good. A better one. A better one. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.